okay problem uh, 4-15 mr. Smith has saved $1,200 each year for 25 years a year after the saving period ended mr. Smith withdrew $4,500 each year for a period of five years in the sixth and seventh years he only withdrew uh, $3,000 per year in the eighth year he decided to withdraw the remaining money in his account if the interest rate was 5% per year throughout the whole period what was the amount he withdrew at the end of the eighth year so for this type of uh, problems uh, it is uh, always better to draw uh, a cash flow diagram okay so to understand the problem well so mr smith saved 1200 dollar each year for 24 so sh he deposited 1200 dollar for 25 years each year okay so starting from 1 2 3 and then 25 years but now he withdrew $4,500 each year for a period of 5 years so 4,500 for 5 years next 5 years okay so 26 up to 30 7 8 9 10 right so 27 like that and then for the next two years he withdraw three thousand dollar each three thousand dollar three thousand dollar each and then this is uh, four thousand five hundred dollar and in the eighth year he withdraw the remaining amount okay the remaining amount in the eighth year so this is 31 32 and then 33 years the remaining amount so this remaining amount we need to find okay so here we can see that uh, we can establish uh, an equation so if I want to find this uh, remaining uh, amount F so if this F will be then equal to the accumulated sum of this uh, $1,200 each year for 25 years so $1,200 accumulated value of this will be F over A and uh, the interest rate is 5% per year 5% per year so 5% and then for 25 years so this accumulated value will be at the end of 25 years at the end of 25 years so this should be further uh, compounded for eight years okay this will be further compounded to eight years okay now from this value there will be a subtraction subtra uh, subtraction of $4,500 and $3,000 value because these were the deposits values these were the withdrawal values so they have the opposite they should have the opposite sign so so minus 4,500 so this 4,500 was withdrawn for five years and uh, this will be further compounded for next three years okay and then for the next uh, next two years three thousand dollar have been withdrawn and uh, 5% and then for 2 years and then it will be again compounded for one more year so that completes the equation so now we just need to input the values and then you can find the uh, answer for this yeah just uh, make correction this will be because uh, uh, 
there will be 8 more years, so this will be 33 years. We will find the value of f. So, uh, just need to input the uh, values of these factors or you can apply the uh, equations and then you can get uh, a final answer which is equal to uh, which is equal which is equal to $49,378.69. So, your answer, if you will calculate, may be slightly different to this answer due to some uh, rounding errors. So, therefore, in this case, we can determine that the final withdrawal amount, final lump sum withdrawal amount will be this value $49,378.69. So, in fact, uh, you can, you may also get this answer $49,375.35. So, remember that uh, uh, this is a kind of uh, little bit uh, complex uh, situation. So, here you can see that this factor compounds the values to the year year 25, okay, the last year. And then that, sim that is a single value here. This compounded value now is a single value. So, therefore, we have to multiply it with the compound amount factor for a single payment, F over P. So, so that we can reach for further 8 years at year 33 and similarly for the other uh, cash flows 4500 and 3000.